everyone, sorry I haven't been on this channel for quite a while, like, like talking to the camera. Um, I was on holiday, which I mentioned in my last video, and then, so we were in Florida for two weeks, and then when I got home I was ill for two weeks, so I planned on doing this video last week, but it just didn't happen, so I'm sorry it's a little late, but I thought you might enjoy my first haul video, and I could show you all the stuff I bought in America. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that's kind of quite obvious is my mini ears. We went to Disney and the one thing I wanted to buy was mini ears, so I got the pink ones to match sprinkle glitter because I love her. Okay, so the first thing I bought on our trip was at the airport. I bought Divergent and Insurgent. Um, because I haven't read the books, I've seen Divergent the film and I thought it was amazing, so I thought I'd get the books for the plane. Maybe I should do makeup first and then random stuff. I think I'll do that. Okay, so we went to Walgreens, which was amazing. Everyone who lives in America probably thinks it's not fun, but it is fun. And I bought all the stuff that you can't buy over here. Now, I wasn't planning on using any of this stuff before I showed it, but it's been that long that I've ended up using some of it. Um, I haven't used this yet though, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Although it looks used, it's not. It's just all the bottles were leaking. Um, yeah, so I got that from Walgreens. I'm excited to use that. My sister's got it as well. And I think they've used it and said they liked it, so that's good. I got the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo, which I absolutely love. That's what I've got on today. And then the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. Which is kind of like a pink colour, and I like them. I got um, two nail polishes from Wet n Wild. I did buy three, but one's a present, so I won't show you that. Uh, this one's in the colour, do they have colours? I need a refresh mint, it looks blue to me, but mint, and Tropicalia, Tropicalia, but they're both really nice. Then I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mango Mascara, I know you can get this in the UK but it was a lot cheaper over there so I bought that and I really like it. Then I wanted Milani and my friend asked for Milani as well. So. That's a gift as well, so I did buy two of these. Um, so I got the Milani Baked Blush in Dolph Pink. Can't pronounce it, but it's number one. And it's really nice. I've got that on today as well. It's like a blush and a highlight. It's like got pink and gold. It's really pretty and I really like that. That's one thing I wanted when I went over there. Um, then my mum bought this actually. It was a pack of three Precision Formula eyeliners. And she gave me and my sisters one each. So... I haven't got the packet, but this is like um, a silvery grey colour. I haven't used it yet, but it looks very nice. Then I went to L'Oreal again. Now, they do sell these in the UK, but they don't sell this colour. So it is L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush, and I've seen, I can't remember who it is, oh, Lauren Curtis used it, and it looks amazing, and I really want it. So I got that. Then I went to... We went to another Walgreens and then I saw they had the EOS lip balms um, on offer. So I got one of those and I got the red one, which is the Summer Fruits one. And it smells and tastes really good. It's the same one that Miley has in her music video, hence why I bought it. <laughs> but it is really good. Okay, that's like the drugstore makeup I bought and then I went to... Mac and Sephora. They gave me this ridiculously large bag, which I didn't need. But what I bought was the Mac Face and Body Foundation in M3. I never used it before, but um, I've heard so many good things about it, so I really wanted to try it. And then the woman didn't match me up, but she just guessed my colour and it was the right colour. Thank God she, I got M3. But um, it is really amazing. I've got this on today as well. Um, you just like apply it with your hands and then. It doesn't look that good when you first apply it, but then it gets better. The more you wear it, it looks nicer. So I really, really like that. I can't remember how much everything was. I wish I could, but it's so long ago now. I can't remember. I've got a memory of a fish. Then I went to Sephora. What I really wanted was the naked, one of the naked palettes, and I looked at all the colours, and the colours that were most likely what I'd wear was the Naked 3 palette. I've been trying to get this for so long. Even my brother tried to get me for Christmas, but it's always been sold out. So I got it while I could. I think it ended up being the exact same price as it would be over here because they have tax on. But um, 
so that was really nice and then inside it has like samples yeah you've got the samples of each primer station I've not opened it yet but yeah and then here's the palette I've used it already I was trying not to use it but all these pretty colours I really really like it I've been using it every single day and I went to where did I go oh Macy's after that and the lady was on the Urban Decay counter was kind of to give me a sample of the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil which I thought was very nice. I've not tried it yet. I'm excited to try that. We went to the like the first day we were actually there after we'd travelled and the next like proper day we went shopping so that we could sort of like see around the area and stuff because we were staying on International Drive which is like a big road that all tourists stay on in Florida. Um, and we were staying at one end and we wanted to see what was at the other end. So we went to the outlets, the premium outlets at one end, which is like the big designer stores, but like ridiculously reduced prices. So we went in there and spent a lot of money. Uh, the first shop we went into was Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret and it's way too expensive in here. So I was excited when I saw these things on offer. Um, the first thing I bought, which is kind of weird to show, but anyway, I'll show it anyway, is a bikini. Uh, like a mink green, really comfy bikini. It had loads of different sizes. I think the tops ended up being six dollars, and the bottoms were like four dollars or something like that. Way cheaper than a Victoria's Secret bikini should be. So I was happy to get that. And then we went over to like the bandos and stuff, and I got this one. My sister's got one too. And this was like twenty dollars reduced to like one ninety nine. So I like that. Put it under um, like a top with cutouts on the side or a see-through top. It's kind of summery but I'll wear it any time of the year. The next outlet shop we went to was Michael Kors. I've never bought anything from Michael Kors before because I've always thought it was ridiculously overpriced. So the outlet was quite fun because everything was a lot cheaper than it normally is. Uh, I got uh, a rose gold Michael Kors purse I absolutely love. Um, I've never bought a really expensive purse before so I was really excited to see this. I love rose gold. This was something like $37. So that works out like £20 or something. Ridiculous like that. And you, you would pay way more than that for a Michael Kors purse. So I was happy to see this. The only thing is, it doesn't fit that much stuff in. Like, I have coins in it and um, a couple notes and cards and that's pretty much full. But I don't mind. I never have that much money anyway. So. Oh well. The next outlet I went to was... Oh what? Converse. I haven't got the box because it was just a little... I, thought, I haven't got the box because it was hard shipping at home. So I bought these. I was either going to get mint green or this pink colour. But they didn't have mint green in my size so that kind of made up my decision. Made up... Made my decision? Yeah. Made up my mind. And I bought these ones. Oh, I think you can just wear them with anything. I know they're quite summery but... And I have that wears summer clothes in the winter, so that's fine for me. Okay, and then another day we went to just the Florida Mall, which is just like a regular shopping centre, not like discounted, just a shopping centre. And I went in, this was the first shop I went in, I don't know how you pronounce it, a Gacy? A Gacy? Whatever it is, I really liked it in there. Um, and in there I got a dress. I think my sister got something too. I think she got a dress as well. But I got this dress. I absolutely love I want so much on holiday. It's kind of like short and like really floaty and it's got like Aztec print on it but all pastel colours but even though it's quite summery and I wore it in Florida I've been wearing it over here with like black tights underneath and like a cardigan or a black leather jacket and it looks really nice and I know I'm going to be wearing this so much. Whilst we were in the outlet we also went to Forever 21. I know you can get Forever 21 over here but just quite a nosy and I bought this hair bone. I've never had like a big hair bow and I've always been looking for one like this. So I found it for as well. And it was like two dollars. Something like that. Also went into Aldo. Um, my sister wanted a bag for her school. So she got this really nice black handbag. And I broke my sunglasses from Primark, obviously. Um, so I needed a new pair, so I got these. Um, I guess it'd look quite silly wearing them around here, but they look nice on holiday. And they were only like five dollars. I like them a lot. I just realised I forgot something we bought from the outlet. 
we went to, I can't pronounce the store. Is it Air, Air, Post, Air Post store? I can say it in an American accent, but I can't say it in a British accent. The store that has Bethany Motors clothing line in. Anyway, I really wanted something from her clothing line. I'd seen it online and I was going to buy some, but the postage was so expensive. So we had a look and I found this, which is a little like crop top, but it's like a fitted crop top. And it says, you're the icing to my cake. And I thought it was super cute. The first thing we did was went to Discovery Code. That was the day after the shopping day. So while I was there, I didn't really get much. One thing I did get was this little bracelet that says best friends on it. It's like a pink bracelet from the little gift shop there. And I got my friend a matching one, but she hasn't got it yet. So I can't show it and I hope she doesn't know who I'm talking about. I know she'd be watching this video though, so I'm not going to say her name. <laughs> Uh, Discovery Cove is where you swim with the dolphins, so we did that in the morning and then like snorkeled with stingrays, it was really amazing. And then I went to the gift shop and they had this top that said, I swam with the dolphins at Discovery Cove. And I thought it was so cute and it is see through, so I don't actually know what I'd wear it with. I kind of just bought it, so it's like a commemorative item. <laughs> I do really like it. Um, so when we were in SeaWorld, we went to the gift shops there as well and I bought this really cute penguin with a hoodie and it's adorable I can't remember how much it was like $9 or something which is a ridiculous amount of money for a teddy but it's cute and it looks cute on my bed so I got that the hotel we were staying in was like a SeaWorld hotel because we were right outside SeaWorld so the lady behind the counter was kind enough to give me and my sisters all a Shinmu whale each how cute is that? Like. How cute. And I can't remember her name, but thank you who gave me this because that's really sweet. Um, I think that was all we got from SeaWorld. Where did we go next? The next we went the next theme park we went to was Universal, which is Universal Studios. There's Island of Adventures on one side and Studios on the other side. So the first day we went to Studio side. We went to Harry Potter World. And there seems to be a lot in here. I I think half this stuff isn't from Harry Potter World. Anyway. One thing we got in the Harry Potter gift shop was a chocolate frog. Obviously haven't eaten it yet. Oh yeah, you have to buy a chocolate frog, don't you? Um, the next thing we bought was the Every Flavour Jelly Beans, which are from Harry Potter. Um, the gift shop was so cool as well. It had like, the um, wands and like the hoodies for the houses and stuff. It's really cool. Um, oh, that's what we bought in the mall. It was like the um, jelly beans, the bean boozled ones that are all different crazy flavours, a bit like the every flavour jelly beans. We got to try those out. Um, seems we got another packet of those as well. Another thing we got in Harry Potter World, you can't really go without buying a wand, can you? So my sister picked which one we got, and we got the, whoop, the Harry Potter one. So it had like every different character's one, so we got the Harry Potter one. And this one was interactive, so when you went to different part, like areas of the park, you could wave your wand and it did magic, and you could cast a spell, which was kind of amazing. And it's pretty cool to hold Harry Potter's one. And they give you a little map of where all the um, different spells can be cast. Jesus Christ, it's so hot in this room. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm trying to think of the next place we went to. Ah, that was it. We did another day after Universal Studios. We did, I think we had a day by the pool, just did nothing. And then we went shopping again another day. I can't remember what it is, so I'm losing track of days. Um, but we went to another shopping centre, which is like halfway up International Drive. It's kind of got um, places to eat, and I think it's called The Point, something like that. Um, but it's really nice, and it had all the little um, like gift shops. Um, and they had one shop that was like Chanel, but like a cheaper version of Chanel. I think it was called, find out, Charming Charlie, I think it was called. Um, so while we were in there, they had all like, everything looked Chanel, but it just didn't have the Chanel name on it. Um, so I got this, which is like, just a small like night bag. Um, and the handle comes off and they also have a chain to put on it to make it like long so you can put it on your shoulder. And this was only $12 and it feels really nice. I think it is actually leather. It feels really nice and I'm not bothered about having the Chanel name on it. So I got that. Well actually, my mum bought me that, so thanks mum. Also while we were at the point, I 
think it's called the point i'm calling it that i don't think it's called that at this shopping center they had another little gift shop that sold like jewelry and pretty things so me and my mum and my sisters all got a necklace similar to match they got one with a dolphin on i think and i got this one with a little l on she's so cute obviously l for my name um i haven't got it on today i've got my button on but um my mum bought me this so thank you mum okay we're nearly at the end um i went to another little trinkety gift shop thing and bought another bracelet which says believe on it um i love the word believe and this is just so me so i got that i have it hanging on my mirror not as a bracelet which is weird okay we did go to disney and i bought these ears which were the one thing i wanted so i was like saving my money and like i need to buy my mini ears so i got these i know everyone buys the original ones but i always be different and buy the pink ones and whilst we are at disney it was even though it was september it was like a halloween night it's called mickey's not so scary halloween party we have one in september and one in october and it just so happened that we were going to the september one and while we were there they had like little trick or treat stands so they gave you a little bag and then while you were going through the park, you got to go to each little trick or treat and then get loads of sweets. So, we have our little trick or treat bag. This is the little bag we got. We thought it was so cute, very Disney. From all the stops, we got so much American candy. Like, we don't have any of this. Like, you know, chews, Tootsie Rolls. I obviously haven't eaten any of it yet. Um, airheads. Lots of airheads. But yeah, that thought was quite nice. Um, it was fun for something to do to find all the little stops and get all the little sweets. I bought a few friends presents from Disney too, but I don't think I can show them because I think she'll watch this video and I haven't given them yet. Yeah, so I did buy more, but I can't show you. But I did buy Eeyore. How cute is this? Um, I was going to buy a mini, Minnie Mouse, but I got one of them already a few, like, a few years ago, so like 10 years ago from Disneyland Paris so I didn't want to get another mini and I didn't know what to get so I got Eeyore instead I'm a sucker for teddy bears and he looks really cute on my bed next to next to Penguin yeah I don't know I hope you enjoyed the video hope you liked everything if I can find the links to some of the stuff I'll try and link them below like the Converse and uh, the matte foundation and some of the makeup products if you'd like um yeah I hope you enjoyed this this is like my first proper sit down video and chat into the camera so this is weird i know i need a better quality camera for this because i'm just using my vlogging camera so i will get a better camera for this sort of thing but i guess my this is just my first video so i want to see whether you liked it or not i've already uploaded the florida vlog day one like well, it's not day one it's part one like, it's like a few days in one i've already uploaded that onto this channel so i hope you've seen that if not i'll link it below I'll be uploading uh, more Florida vlogs after this, so keep your eye out for that and subscribe so you can get notified when they're uploaded. They'll probably all be up by the end of next week. Um, I've had trouble with my laptop because my charge broke, so I've not had a like, chance to edit it or anything. So I'm going to get all that edited. Um, you can check my Tumblr for pictures, I'll link that below as well. I put up quite a few um, holiday pictures on there if you want to see those. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!